Okay, so this is a really a quick guide on how to work with a Smout 100A card with a SIM editor. Um, so we start with opening the correct profile. You can actually use this one or this one depending on how many files you want to see. Um, but we can take the default one. Clear script is if there is any script information in memory, it will uh, erase them. So now you have all the files uh, from this card. You can filter them out if you want to look for MC, for example, uh, or SPN. Uh, so that's a way to do it. We Before we work with the files, uh, let's check this window here. Uh, we have gpin, it's already disabled on this card. This, when you open the card, it will fill this automatically. Uh, we usually don't have to verify lpin. Um, and here is important, here you have your keys. Uh, so you put your ki key and opc key here, or op key and calculate the opc key, to have the correct opc key. You can also randomize the keys, and uh, you will have an output file where these keys are present. <coughs> we won't do that here, but we will include the icing keys as well. These are put in two different files, so if you're going to use icing, and this is for, you know, uh, voice over LTE, uh, accessing the IMS network, you need to have this checked. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to do it quite simple. We're going to fill some IMZ. Uh, here, I don't know what's on the card, we can read from the card directly. Okay, it doesn't fill the card, sorry. I will put in the card. I will check the ATA of the card. It says the Smout 100A, so you can see this is the profile ATA, this is the ATA of the card. They're the same, so it's okay. Now we can read from the card. It's the default value, nothing changed. We can write directly to the card. Success, no error. Uh, if we take the old, I'm oh, sorry. This is the old value. We read from the card now, and you'll see that's the new value that we recently wrote to the card. Okay, now we want to enter a range, so let's use uh, this value and let's have a range of 10 cards and add this to the script. Okay, so now we have 10 cards. If we look at the script data, 10 scripts will be created. So the MZ uh, shows us um, th that's where you put the range. It's 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 having a range of IMSIs. Uh We can put uh, the same uh, for MSISTN. So this is actually the 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 the, the phone number. So you don't have to put the plus uh, here. So if you have like a Swedish number here you put it like this so 46 is for sweden uh, you want to have a range it will follow the range of the mc so it starts this is a start value and this is the end value from 10 cards you add this to script like that you can of course also write directly a value to the card write to card like that uh, so that's the uh, we're happy now with the uh, with the using values. We will use these values for simplicity when we create the, the scripts. So what we have left is the uh, MP the 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 icing icing value. So we have uh, MP domain input. Uh, 
so let's enter like our domain type script um, let's put this here here we can also use uh, a dynamic value feature so for mp for example we would like to have the imsi so this will put the, the current imsi value before that's mojak.com so it will be different for every for every card okay uh, and for impu we can do about the same and for example we can have uh, the MSISDN over there uh, and you can continue to edit if you want to edit part number two you click on record number two and uh, you change that one and so on we'll leave this like this add that to the script uh, uh, and you also have to do that with, with record number three and add the script if you want to do that. So, but we're happy with that. We can check the script, new script data, 10 scripts, KI, OPC, in the starting value, in the end value, starting MSISDN, and the other values. OK. Next script. Um, name of this project test then script said we go to script control panel we select this recent folder and here you have all the scripts with the different IMSIs so it, they are named from the IMSI value and if you have a closer look, if you know what to look for, you will see that that the, the, the values for MP etc. are different. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much. And now, of course, we're going to run the scripts. So we select script number one. We run it. Uh, we can check zero errors. Um, then we change card. We take the next card and we run the next and this this way we can run uh, scripts on 10 cards quite quickly and be done quite quickly okay thank you